Right guys, so I'm on the way to look at an old shed um, that an old lady has decided that she doesn't want. Um, she has told me it's a little bit rotten, um, but I think it could be something that we could work with and make it look nice for my allotment. Um, so yeah, I'm on the way there now and um, hopefully, fingers crossed, it should be okay. So this is the shed that the lady said I could have. Um, it's a little bit rotten down there on the door and on the side here, um, which will be fine. Now if we take a look inside, yeah, it looks all okay, to be honest. Um, can't see no damp patches, so there's no leaks anywhere. So yeah, good workable project for the allotment. So that's the shed all empty now. As I said in the previous clip, there was no leaks on the roof. Um, but what I did find is when I took everything out or along the floor, um, it was all rotten all the way around. Um, I didn't expect it to be that bad, but it's something that we can work with. Uh, the lady said it, this shed has been there for 20 years, so it has served its purpose. Um, and what she would like me to do is when I restore it, it's just a shower. Thank you. 
these are all the good bits that we've repaired uh, on this particular part here all we've done was the corner area here and there and then the base part we um, basically done all the inside here and put two new boards top and bottom uh, not too worried about this part here because we'll do that when it's all together so that's the shed in its new position along the roof there i'm having a stick cladding around the outside as the felt got split on transport um, and then on along the floor i'm putting slabs down and i'm going to put a bed in the corner so um yeah we're nearly there with it i'm quite pleased with how it's gone today through the mess so as you can see over here all the floors being done that's all secure now um, along the back here I'm making a bench in the corner I'm gonna do a little area so I can stick my coffee and a kettle over here I'm gonna do a little workstation and then finally I'm gonna possibly board it all out again because as you can see there's areas here which water can get through and then as we go on the outside what I'll do then, I'll more than likely feather board all round out on the outside here and along the side. So yeah, I'm, I think in about a week's time it should all be completed. So far, I've got a seating area there, which I'm going to put hinges on here. That will lift up, and I'll stick all my tools under there. I've done an area over here for my coffee. I've done a little shelf, and then an area down here, probably to store um, some cold drinks. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to board the back bit, and then this area is all finished. So that's it, that's the back area all done. So guys, that's the inside of the shed done at the moment. Um, now the last few weeks I've been looking around for featherboard for the outside of the shed. Um, 
I put a notice out on Facebook just to see if anyone had any spare. And uh, sure enough, a good friend of mine called Brian decided that he was changing his fence panels and I could have his. Um, so I said to him, if you could deliver them to my allotment, that would be great, which he kindly did. Um, so I've just got down to my plot now and he's, he's left them outside the shed. So we can now begin working on restoring the outside of the shed. Okay guys, so that's my shed nearly fully restored. All I need to do is finish the door with the wood I've got over here. I need to put a few more slabs down here and then I'm gonna put a bed over here with a hanging basket and then it's all complete. I hope you liked the video that I did. Um, if you'd like to see more, please subscribe, like or share. Thank you.